It's been a really long time since an amplifier has actually excited me, to be honest with you, in a time where everyone's going ampless, amps are getting smaller, quieter, I've kind of bought into that. It just makes life really, really easy, but when you sit down and you play an amp that is inspiring and loud, you're kind of reminded what this is all about. <laughs> This is the Bad Cat Jet Black. Honestly, Bad Cat amps are not an amp that I would normally go to for my playing style. I'm always considering myself a Fender guy, but I have to tell you something though, a little secret here. I'm always kind of searching for something that's not there in the Fender sound. I don't have a vintage Fender, I have a reissued Deluxe Reverb, and it's just not the thing that I'm looking for. But the Jet Black, it's definitely closer. <laughs> So I think I've learned two things with this amplifier here. One, uh, miking an amplifier is difficult. I am not a studio engineer, so it took me a long time to put this 57, Beta 57, and the 414 in places that I liked. That's where modelers have real amps beat for me. I am not a pro at that, so when I have a modeler or an Oxbox or something where you know I don't have to worry about mic and speaker placement and, and things like that, kind of takes that work out of it for someone like me who's unskilled. It's great, you can just get right into playing. However, I did find some good spots for this. Once I did, the second thing that this helped me learn is that I am missing something in the amp world. I love my Fender Deluxe Reverb reissue. It's fine, it's great, it's got that Fender tone, but it is missing some things that I didn't even realize I was looking for in an amplifier, and this has kind of brought those to light, so I think this has started an amp search for me. This has two channels, and the first of which is where things are really interesting. So the first channel is your clean channel. This has character, it's got harmonic content, it's got that edge of breakup thing almost kind of built in. You can get it to be very clean, but that's not where I think it really excels. Where it excels is with that edge of breakup thing, and it's very cool. I mean, this is the kind of amp where you could definitely live without a pedal board. Comes with a foot switch, switches between channel one and channel two. We'll get to channel two in a second. Uh, it's got a couple other things you can do with it as well, which we will talk about. Channel two is where you get your rock overdriven tones. It is very good at that. Channel 2 is really usable. It's got a really great rock crunch. You can definitely get into some higher gain type things, but it's very tasteful. It's very responsive and dynamic, uh, and it's easy to dial in sounds. You've got a volume and a master on both channel 1 and channel 2, and it's very intuitive um, to get whatever amount of dirt you want on each channel. So like I said, you do have a foot switch, and you can jump back and forth between channels 1 and 2, but you can also add another flavor, and that is with the tremolo that's built in. I do actually think that you could survive most gigs, most gigs, with an amp just like this, no pedals. Uh, it certainly sounds great. It seems to be built really well. 
And quite frankly, it's exciting. It's exciting because, you know, amps are fun. They are fun. They're a lot of work. They're heavy. They're loud, but they're fun. Most of us who started playing guitar, we started playing through an amplifier, at least people my age and older. Now, that's kind of where we differ. You know, maybe if you're younger out there and the first time you play guitar was direct into a computer, you had a different experience. But for me, I still remember cranking up amps, whether they sounded good or not, whether I was playing well or not. That was part of the fun of it. It's still fun. The Bad Cat Jet Black brings you all of the booming, awesome tube amp fun that you could possibly ever want. Thank you.